Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In chapter 6, Acid, Base and Salt, this is part 5, where you are going to learn about the chemical properties. That prop, wait, actually it's the properties, eh? Properties of acid and alkalis. Narrated by teacher Nasrin. Okay, in this subtopic uh, 6.4, the chemical properties of acid, you are going to learn about three properties of acid. Okay, so we are, we are going through one by one of the properties of acid. There are three properties of acid. I hope you can follow me. Try to write down the, the equations and complete your handout. Okay, now, the first one, acid as basis, you will get salt and water. Macam sama macam lower form kita dah belajar kan? Acid plus bases which is alkali, it will produce salt and water. This is neutralization. Very good. Okay, example. We have uh, sulfur acid with copper to oxide. Okay, the product is copper to sulfate and water. Copper. Copper oxide. Okay, cara nak buat dia eh? H2SO4. Sulfur acid is H2SO4. Okay, siapa yang dah hafal, bagus. Yang tak hafal, kena ingat lah. Sulfur acid H2SO4, the formula for sulfur acid. How about copper to oxide? Okay, Cu2 plus combined with O2 minus. So you will get CuO. Okay, how to produce copper to sulfate? Okay, copper here is the positive ion. O oxygen here is a negative ion. Hydrogen here is a positive ion. Sulfate here is a negative ion. Okay, so the copper will combine with the uh, sulfate. Yes, okay, so but the positive, it's positive ion. It will combine with the negatively charged of sulfate ion. It will produce copper to sulfate. And second one, we have H plus ion with the oxide ion. It will produce water. So the idea is macam tukar-tukar partner. Okay, so equation. You have to have that idea to write down an equation. Okay, so this is our equation. Just write down the reaction first. Sulfur acid H2SO4 plus CuO and you will get copper to sulfate which is CuSO4 and water. Secondly, you have to check either the equation is balanced or not. Okay, let us check together. Hydrogen, we have two hydrogen here and two hydrogen here. Okay, balance meaning uh, before the arrow and after the arrow side. Okay. Okay, how about sulfur? Next one is sulfur. Satu je sulfur. Ini pun satu. Oxygen, how many oxygen we have? Empat campur satu, lima, five oxygen. And here we have four plus one, five oxygen. How about copper? One copper here, one copper here. Very good. Oxygen, oxygen tadi dah kira. So, all the elements are balanced. Okay, from uh, between the left side and the right side of the arrow okay very good next one is the exercise okay this exercise you should do it yourself but i'll help you so firstly we have to you know what is the product from this reaction between hydrochloric acid what is the pro, uh, formula of hydrochloric acid h besar c besar l kecil jangan l besar ya hcl zinc oxide so zn is 2 plus the ion of zinc is 2 plus. How about oxide? 2 minus. So the formula is zinc oxide ZnO. So write down HCl plus ZnO as the product. So bila, uh, as a product, as a reactant, sorry. So to determine the product, okay, zinc will combine with Cl. Okay, so you will produce zinc chloride. Very good. But you have to remember zinc is ZN2 plus, Cl is 1 minus. Make sure you write down the formula of the substance correctly. And hydrogen will combine with oxygen to produce water. Okay. I'll give you the product first. Zinc chloride and water. So the equation, you have to write down. You will get HCl plus ZNO to produce zinc chloride and H2O. Okay, kenapa chlorine kat sini dua? Sebab Zn 2 plus and chloride is 1 minus. Okay, ni 2 plus ion dia asal ya. And Cl is 1 minus. So, Cl is 1 minus. So, bila combine, we need 2 Cl minus. Okay, zinc chloride. Okay, disebabkan oleh Cl ni 2, 
That's why lah HCl ni perlu dua to balance the equation. Okay. Acid with metal, you will get salt and hydrogen gas. Okay, there are a uh, condition with, for the metals. The metal should be more electropositive than hydrogen. Electropositive meaning the upper part of the hydrogen in the electrochemical series. Okay, for example, we have magnesium, zinc, aluminium. Okay, but not sodium, lithium, uh, what? Potassium, ah, itu tak boleh. Itu terlalu reaktif, okay? Example one, we have hydrochloric acid with magnesium. Okay, and again, you have to predict the product. So, HCl is H, is hydrochloric acid. The formula of hydrochloric acid is HCl. Magnesium is Mg itself. M besar, saya buat ni nampak kecil pula. M besar, capital M, Mg. So, what will happen? Magnesium will combine with chlorine. And how about hydrogen? It will become hydrogen gas. Okay. So, you have two product, which is magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. Oh, the Cloutros equation. Okay. Magnesium with hydrochloric acid, you will get magnesium chloride and hydrogen. We put it two here to balance the equation because the formula of magnesium chloride is MgCl2. Okay. Mg2 plus. And Cl minus 2. There are 2 Cl minus for magnesium chloride. So, we need 2 Cl here. And hydrogen, ah, the ikut je. Ini pun 2 hydrogen, ini pun H2. Okay. Oh, we have exercise. Okay, I need you to do it first. But, yeah, I'll help you. So, for you see, formula. Good. H2, SO4. Okay, iron. What is the formula of the iron? F, E, F, capital E, F, and E. Okay. So, the product, iron will combine with sulfate, and the hydrogen will become hydrogen gas. So, you will get two product, which is iron to sulfate and hydrogen gas. How about equation? So, basically, equation dia terus keluar je. Okay, saya nak try buat kat sini. So, equation, first... You write down H2SO4. Lepas tu tambahkan dengan, okay, tambah dengan iron. Okay, Fe. Okay, anak panah. Okay, Fe kabur dengan sulfate. Ah, saya saja je kan nak tunjuk yang senang je. Fe is 2 plus. SO4, 2 minus. That's why lah tak perlu darab dengan apa-apa. Just write down Fe, SO4. Okay, how about hydrogen? Hydrogen yang daripada sini tadi, baki dia kan? Kita akan dapat jadi hydrogen gas. Next one, check. Balance ke tidak? Hydrogen ada dua kat sini pun. Hydrogen yang ada dua. Uh, sulfur satu, sulfur satu, oksigen empat, oksigen empat. Iron, ada satu, iron ada satu. Okay, this is a balance equation. Okay, tak cantik. Tulisan tu, ada je kat atas sebenarnya. Okay, yeah. so this is our chemical equation. Next one, the uh, properties of acid. When acid reacts with metal carbonate, you will get salt, carbon dioxide and water. We have three products here. Ah, ini yang paling panjang lah. Antara tiga properties of acid. Salt, carbon dioxide and water. Okay. Water here. Metal carbonate. Example of metal carbonate, we have magnesium carbonate, aluminium carbonate, copper carbonate and so on. Any acid. Okay, now we go to example one. We have hydrochloric acid with copper to carbonate. Uh, hydrochloric acid is HCl, copper to carbonate, uh, CuCO3. Okay, I'll help you. I'll help you. CuCO3. Ah, jadi dia formula dia. Ah, betul lah. Sebab Cu is 2 plus, CO3 is 2 minus. So, bila combine 2 plus and 2 minus, dia gabung je lah. So, product. Okay. First, kita kena determine salt apa yang kita dapat. Okay, so copper akan kahwin dengan chloride. Okay, so you akan dapat copper chloride. Sekarang ni tinggal carbonate dengan H plus kat sini. Okay, so carbonate dengan H plus dia akan combine. First, awak akan dapat carbon dioxide. And then water. Carbonate akan hasilkan carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide formula CO2. And water, hydrogen 
and another oxygen from carbonate tadi akan hasilkan water. So we have three product which is uh, copper chloride, copper to chloride, carbon dioxide, gas and water. Macam mana nak tulis equation tu? Okay, saya tunjuk kat sini. HCl. Okay, itu yang basic dulu. Yang dua tu nanti dulu. HCl, copper carbonate, copper chloride. Okay, copper chloride kena dua sebab Cu2 plus and Cl is 1 minus. So, Cu Cl dua lah. Carbon dioxide, jangan salah tulis formula. And last one is H2O. Okay, next kita check. Um, biasanya kita check. Okay, macam ni lah. Hydrogen satu. Kita tengok sini hydrogen dia dua. That's why kita letak nombor dua di hadapan. You tak boleh buat macam ni lah. Oh, hydrogen dua. Aku nak bubur kat sini lah. H2Cl. Very, very wrong. Okay. Sebab formula HCl awak tak boleh ubah. Okay, awak boleh ubah di hadapan sahaja. Kita panggil kat sini sebagai... Um, Oh my god, lupa lah. Um, bahasa Melayu dia ialah pekali stoichiometry. Uh, saya lupa in English. Stoichiometry, number value, uh, whatever tu tak ingat. Tapi tak apa. Yang penting awak tahu balance kan. Okay, next one. Chlorine. Chlorine ada dua. How about sebelah kanan? Chloride. Ada dua juga. Chlorine, chloride. Okay, same thing. Um, copper, satu. Kita ada copper kat sini, satu. Okay, good. Carbon, satu. Carbon, satu. How about oxygen? We have three oxygen on the left, sorry, right side. Okay, dua campur dengan satu. Okay, cukup tiga. Okay, good. A plus. Next one. Oh, dah habis lah ya. Now, oh, ada exercise. Okay. Um, we, you, so we, you do the exercise first. So, for instance, we zinc carbonate. Okay, sulfuric acid. Eh, dah banyak kali buat sepatutnya kena ingat ya formula of sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, nitric acid. Biasa untuk segi besar awak tiga asid tu saja. Kita ada H2SO4 for sulfuric acid. O4. Okay, how about zinc carbonate? Ah, zinc carbonate ni kacang je ni. Sebab dua-dua positif. Uh, dua. Zn is two positive. Carbonate two negative. So, formula Zn CO3 je lah. So, the product. So, you will get zinc sulfate. Dua lagi, dia masih sama je. Carbon dioxide and water. Okay. So, the product is zinc sulfate, carbon dioxide gas and water. I need you to stop or pause the clip for you to write down the chemical equation. Okay, thank you. You have stopped the clip again. So, this is your answer. Sulfuric acid, H2SO4. And zinc carbonate, you will get zinc sulfate, carbon dioxide, and water. Just check either the equation is balanced or not. Okay, ada balance ni. Okay, bagus betul. Okay, that's all three chemical properties for acid. Boleh kita ulang balik? The first one, acid react with bases. You will get salts and water. Number two, acid are react with um, metal. Uh, you will get salt. And hydrogen gas, okay. Tapi uh, metal tadi ada syarat ya. Uh, it should be more electropositive than hydrogen. And number three, acid react with zinc carbonate. Uh, you will get um, salt, carbon dioxide, and water. So tiga. Now we go to chemical properties of alkalis. Um, ada tiga juga sebenarnya. There are three chemical properties of alkalis. Okay, the first one, alkali react with acid. You will get salt and water. Okay, example one, we have potassium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. So, what is the formula for potassium hydroxide? Okay. Potassium hydroxide is KOH. K plus, double not OH minus, so KOH lah. And sulfuric acid, H2SO4. So, the relation between potassium hydroxide and sulfuric acid will produce potassium sulfate and water. Okay, macam mana dapat potassium sulfate sekali lagi? Kalau saya lah, saya belah dua. Uh, nak asingkan antara yang positif dengan negatif. Okay, nampak? Okay, so K ni positif, so dia akan bergabung dengan sulfate. Cikgu kenapa cikgu tak gabung dengan H, hydrogen kat sini? Eh, H tu positif. K pun positif, mana boleh positif dengan positif. Haram. So, yang tinggal ialah OH- and H2. So, those H2 and OH- will combine to produce 
water. Okey, tapi dalam hal ni pH2 ya, sebenarnya dia dah dalam bentuk H plus ion. Dan bilangan ni ialah 2. Okey. So, to write down the equation. Okey, um, I think I would like to show you the uh, how to write the equation. Okey, ya. So, potassium hydroxide. So, Mr. Koh, KLH. Ayo. Oh, saya teruknya. Okay, N plus with uh, sulfuric acid. H2. SO4 Okay So tadi salt yang kita dapat Mestilah potassium sulfate Which is K K plus SO4 is 2 minus So I need 2 K plus K2 SO4 Okay And water Dia ikut je So you can ingat Ingat apa? Ingat dia punya formula yang kat atas ni je Alkali uh, with acid salt and water so, water is H2O. Okay, check balance the equation. K ada satu sebelah kiri. Uh, kanan ada dua. Oh, saya kena letak dua di sini. Uh, okay. O ada dua. Uh, nanti dulu. Ada satu lagi. O kat sebelah sini. So, empat campur dua. Enam. So, check sebelah sini cukup tak? Empat campur dengan. Eh, baru satu. So, I need to put two here. Cikgu hidrogen berubah. It's okay. Relax. Kita tengah deal dengan oksigen. So, kita deal dengan oksigen dia dulu. So, check oksigen 4 campur 2. 2 sebab dah darab dengan yang ni ya. So, ada 6. Oksigen settle. Okay, seterusnya. Tadi saya nak check apa? Oh, hydrogen. Okay, apa hydrogen? Sini ada 2. Eh, sini ada 1. Ah, nanti. Hydrogen ni jangan lupa darab dengan yang kat depan. So, maksudnya ada 4 hydrogen sebenarnya sebelah sini ya. So, kat sini pun dah ada 4 hydrogen. Okay, 2 kali dengan 2, 4. Ah, saya kata settle. Sulfur 1. Kat sini pun sulfur 1. Oksigen tadi kita dah settlekan ya. Okay, balance equation. Bagus. Yang cantik ada dekat atas. So, 2 KOH react with 1 sulfur acid to produce 1 potassium sulfate and 2 molecule of water. Exercise 1. Hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide. I need you to determine what is the product for this reaction. HCl with sodium hydroxide. HCl is HCl, the formula of hydrochloric acid. HCl. How about sodium hydroxide? N. A. O. H. Sodium hydroxide. So, what is the product? Boleh agak ke? Sodium, kawin dengan chlorine. Dapat sodium chloride. Next one is OH dengan H. You akan dapat water. So, sodium chloride and water. So, yang ni saya rasa equation ni senang ni. Okay, okay, okay. Tulis dulu, tulis dulu. Jangan tunggu jawapan saya. Write down your equation. Sodium hydroxide, sorry, HCl plus sodium hydroxide, you will get sodium chloride and water. Okay, this is the equation. This is sodium chloride and HCl. Macam biasa je dengar kan? And HCl ialah garam, garam dapur lah. Garam kat rumah tu. Okay, the second properties for alkali. Alkali uh, react with ammonium salt. You will get salt, water and ammonia gas. Okay, ada tiga pudak kat situ. Alkali, ammonium salt. You will get salt and water and ammonium salt. What is ammonium salt? Okay, for example, we have ammonium chloride. Others, you have ammonium sulfate, ammonium nitrate, ammonium, uh, ammonium bin apa pula. Okay, yeah. So, potassium hydroxide. Okay, potassium hydroxide is KOH. Potassium hydroxide, KOH. And the formula of ammonium chloride. Ah, okay, ammonium ialah NH41+. Saya harap awak dah hafal dah ayun-ayun semua. Yeah. NH41+. And chloride is 1 minus. So, NH4Cl. Okay. Ammonium chloride. So, bila bergabung, what is the name of the salt produced? So, ammonia, ammonia, ammo, sorry, sorry, ammonium, this is ammonium ion. Okay, okay. So, yang akan gabung ialah K dengan Cl. You akan dapat potassium chloride. Yang selebihnya, okay, kita ada ammonium ion dengan hydroxide ion. Ini akan bergabung untuk jadi dua lagi produk which is water and ammonia gas. What is the formula of ammonia gas? NH. Apa beza ammonia dengan ammonium? Ammonia, this is ammonia. Ammonium, NH4. 4 subscript, 1 plus. 
Okay. Ammonium ila ayon. Ayon, ammonium. Ammonia ila gas. The substance, molecule. Okay. Dah siap dah jadi gas. So, the product is potassium chloride, water and ammonia gas. Okay, jom kita tengok equation dia. Okay. So, potassium hydroxide. Okay. We add with ammonium chloride, you will get potassium chloride, water and ammonia. Okay, boleh dapat? Okay, lepas ni mesti ada example. Okay, exercise 1. Okay, dah keluar sekali dia punya product. So, uh, reaction between sodium hydroxide and ammonium nitrate. Ah, okay, sodium hydroxide ialah NaOH. Okay. Ammonium nitrate is NH. Okay, NH4. Nitrate is 1 minus. So, uh, gabung je lah NH4, 1 plus. NO3. Uh, so, you dapat NH4, NO3. So, the product is sodium nitrate. Uh, sodium yang ni. Dia gabung dengan nitrate yang ni. Okay. And ammonium ion and hydroxide ion akan menghasilkan water and ammonia gas. Yes. So, the equation is just like this. Alamak, kepala orang ni tak nampak lah pula, okay? So, sodium hydroxide, ammonium nitrate, sodium nitrate, H2O and ammonia. Okay, ammonia ni N, H, 3, ada 3 kat bawah ni. Tak nampak kat sini. Okay, next one. Next one. Okay, alkali and most metal ion. Kebanyakan ion metal lah. Contoh metal ion. Kita ada magnesium ion, Mg2+, Al3+, Zn2+. Okay. Ha, biasanya tiga ni akan react dengan alkali. Okay. It will produce cation from the alkali and insoluble metal hydroxide. Oh, apa tu? Okay. Jom kita tengok example. Okay. So, for example, we have sodium hydroxide ion and again, dah berapa kali kita jumpa ni? NaOH. Sodium hydroxide ion, sorry, sodium hydroxide, um, it is an alkali. Magnesium ion, kalau magnesium ion, it is just Mg2+. Plus. Okay, so produk dia apa? Tengok produk dia apa? Magnesium hydroxide and sodium ion. Oh, dia macam tukar macam tu je. Okay, so macam ni. Magnesium tadi akan gabung dengan hydroxide. And sodium pula yang jadi ion sebab kena tinggal. Kan? Awet dia hydroxide will, uh, has been taken by the magnesium to produce magnesium hydroxide and sodium ion will live alone. Okay. Equation. Tengok. Oh. Dia buat dalam bentuk um, I think some sort of what we call this. Is this ionic equation? Mungkin nak ionic equation ya. So chemical equation yang terlibat ialah sodium hydroxide tidak beras dengan magnesium ion, awak akan dapat magnesium hydroxide and sodium ion. Balance the equation. Sebab tu ada nombor dua ni ya. Sebab nak balancekan bilangan sodium. Okay, next one. Example two, we have sodium hydroxide with calcium ion. Sodium hydroxide, hmm, banyak kali dah jumpa ni. Sodium NaOH. Oh, saya pun nak nak apa lah ni. Nak, oh, sodium hydroxide and calcium ion. Uh, ni banyak dekat kotak-kotak susu tu. Pa2+. Okay. So, you akan dapat calcium, hydroxide and sodium ion. Uh, dia macam tu je. Okay. Produk dia ialah calcium hydroxide and sodium ion. Equation. Okay. Sodium hydroxide. Okay. Yang ni. They react with calcium ion. You will get calcium hydroxide and sodium ion. Okay. Dah tiga dah chemical properties of alkali. So, tolong ingat dan juga buat latihan lagi untuk um, three chemical properties of acid and three chemical properties of, of alkali. Okay? And of, of part 5, thank you.